all right what is up we're about to go back in i played a little off screen about a i'd say maybe about 40 minutes worth of gameplay did the first two classes the first one was uh dark arts or i don't know it wasn't whatever it was first class we learned Le leviosa second class we learned uh Freaking whatever the heck the one to summon stuff it's, it starts with the A. Some uh, I don't know, but anyway, did all that. Did some exploring around the ca around the uh, cave, around the Hogwarts, and I got myself my DLC outfit on. I've been getting a little bit more familiar with the uh, user interface, and I was going through some of my gear. I actually got some. Pretty decent stuff. I got a legendary outfit already. It's kind of cool how this system works. I mean, I just found this stuff around the uh, chest and stuff. Just going throughout the castle and looking around. So I'm kind of curious just how high you can get your defense and offense. I mean, if if the if the level cap on this game is like 20 or whatever, or 25. I wonder if you can get up to like a hundred on offense and defense, but uh, yeah, I did some exploring, learned some new spells. I can't really do them out here because there's nothing to do. Revelio. But we're about to go. This is the guy I dueled in my first, in my first class, and uh, now he's my buddy. He's a Slytherin, so you know I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta keep close to the evil side of things. Dude, we might we might be a wise character, but we're Speaking also an reason, evil character. She seems to have taken quite a shine to you. <laughs> Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention. Oh. Revelli, spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Wait, what's going on here? Oh. I can't tell it's... Ah, uh, it's in the castle. I'll do that later. I just Let's just get this... Mi I want to start busting through these missions. I gotta get a broomstick as fast as possible. And that's probably like... A far... That's probably a ways away from, from where I'm at. This trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me. As is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Revelio. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace wing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Huh. Good looks. Man, so you can harvest stuff in this game too? Man, I bet the freaking Hufflepuffs are going crazy. This game is like open world to the max. If only it was like a little bit more similar to Fallout 76 where they had like a lot more spices and shit. Around. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Yeah. Yo, yo, what's this? Sleeping toadstool caps. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Yeah, they're everywhere. Um, assuming those things grow back too, so that's pretty Crumb sweet. Soup and sugar foot. <gasps> to the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, all right, let's go. In. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. Revelio. We need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Ruins. Yeah, this outfit's really cool. Like it moves around and stuff. It's, it's, it's damn. It's pretty damn slick. What's that? What the hell is that? 
There's probably stuff in those ruins. I'm just excited to start going around and exploring stuff. There's there is so much to do. Explore the castle. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. The hell? Loads to see. Faces. Rebellion. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Rodrigo! <laughs> Oh, okay, check this out. Yeah, look at that. So it's gonna be a lot more like figuring things out with what spells you have around this around this world. That's cool. A leather flat cap. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna get all kinds of toadstools. I don't even know what these things do, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I've been trying my hardest not to look at too many YouTube videos for this game because I kind of want to like do it my own way. But there might be a few times where I gotta figure something out. But you can see them. Unfortunately, Revelio, you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully, the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Yeah, no kidding. What is that? Oh, never mind. I was like, why is it moving? God damn, son! Look at that boy running fast as hell! Dude, that dude was freaking running fast! He's like going around that corner like a freaking track star, bro. Did you see that? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything alright, sir? Oh, look right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying! <laughs> I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you! Let me go, <laughs> Demi guys! I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Hey, yo, it's Orr. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's rebellious. I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Yo, I like that. Oh, she is, or rather, she was. Huh. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at home. I'm curious. Rebellion. Damn, this is insane. Bro, this is like my childhood right here, bro. I mean, I watched all the Harry Potters, but like... If for all y'all that have been playing Wizard 101, this is like... It's like live action, bro. I mean, without the, without the massive multi-online part of it. Which, I mean, if they ended up doing something like that, I would be very entertained. Ones would bottle the magic of this place. <laughs> Gotta give the cats a pet. I've had to pet every cat I see so far. What's that? I'm conf Oh, right here. Gotta get these guide pages. Damn, I'm, I how, how slow I have to walk through this stuff. Makes it hard to like collect things faster. Damn, girl. Can I unlock this? Uh, I wonder. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Disney seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new one. And a Bruh, short list gives I have like the lowest pitch of my Pokemon player's movie. voice and it just sounds like Harry I Potter. <laughs> it's sister. like, they could have picked like any other voice. Remember, have fun. It's just like it's the... 
the way he talks, it's not the tone even. Damn. Damn. So I have to go over here. Goodness, I think that's it. What's this over here? Got all kinds of shops. Rebellion. You're gonna walk in their house and steal their shit. <laughs> Wait, is this the wand shop? Oh, it was. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. He's the same like vibe as the one from the movie, but I'm just a different man. You want. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Bro, they got a Let's monopoly on the one business. One, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um. Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Whoa. Well, Sick. Guys, wish. <laughs> hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on. Really swish it. Oh lord. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find Harry something not to Potter. worry. Mm. No, Just give me Harry no, Potter's uh, wand, bro. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood. Dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Bro, imagine coming up with all these damn names. <laughs> For like each one, it's like, and they got like their like mods and stuff. Oh, oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proof. The next one's gonna be like, freaking fermented log, troll's breath, um, three four string or some, dumb, some dumb shit like that. Perhaps you? Uh, ah. There you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Dude, why is he so enthusiastic about that one? It's always the third one. I don't want this damn freaking white ass plain stick. This thing's ugly as hell. Oh. Okay, we could customize it. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. Curious indeed. I gotta go for the dark. Oh, you don't get a chance with the different style of bodies. Ooh, How yep. intriguing. Ooh, that one's nice. I like the I like the symmetry on this one. Uh... Curious indeed. Curious indeed. What a freaking nerd. Wood. How intriguing. What does this even matter? I'm gonna go as long as I can, baby. Dude. <laughs> My, I think... Uh, acacia wood. There you go. Did I see something about dragons? Hold up. Blackthorn sounds kind of cool. Dogwood. Hmm. 
black wood. I want something black or like like redwood would be redwood would be nice and I think I'm assuming that ebony is like a black color. I don't know. Let me look up I don't know, dude. I don't even know. Flexible. What does this even do for me? Quite bendy. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do... Unyielding would be kind of dumb. We gotta have some... We gotta have some whip in our wrist, man. We, we can't just be, like, stiff in it, man. We gotta, like... We gotta be... Whipping that thing back and forth, bro. Whippy. I think that's what it was at, and I think How I might just stick with that. <laughs> Whatever. What does this even do? Oh. Powerful magic. Consistent magic. A great range of magic. Damn. That's actually like... That's actually crazy. Like, this could really like make a difference. Do I want to have like more like AP or do I want to have more power? I mean, I think power is the way. I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Let's see if it changed color since I used the ebony wood. Nope. Curious indeed. I really wanted something black. And it sucks because, like, the only one that has, like, a darker color is, like, something like this. How intriguing. Looks like a piece of wood. Ooh, that's kind of nice. This one has black. Curious indeed. Oh, well. I'm kind of vibing with this one, though. Did it change all my stuff, though? Nope. Good. Alright, we're just gonna go with this. You know, I feel like since I'm a Ravenclaw, I, I gotta do this ah, one. Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Ah. How much money are you taking from me? Oh. What do you think? Whoa, dude. The power within. Extraordinary. What in the world is that aura? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. What a gentleman. Revelio. I never even got the scroll, I just like walked right in. I 
I think that's the bar. Maybe. I got Repario as well. Which I'm kind of curious. What is this door? Oh, where am I? Bro, just let you walk in like anybody's house and like take their shit. I wonder if you can get like trouble if you like end up in somebody's house while they're, while they're there. <laughs> I gotta pay attention to these flying pages as well. Rebellion. Like right here. Rebellion. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, where'd he go? No! Rebellion. Oh, there. Freaking running away from me, bro. Zonkos. All right, let's get our missions done. I can look at stuff later on my own time. Oh, I gotta go here. Welcome to J. Pippen's pushing. Get out of here. Where's? Is there not a scroll on this one? Oh, what the hell? Repair. No! Oh well. I can't, like... Get me out of here, what the hell? Jesus Christ. Repair. Gotta put it back where it was, you know. Welcome to G. Pippin's Potions. Parry Pippin at your service. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have already okay. done the same, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? <sighs> Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. Damn straight. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What a G. What can I do for you today? This one I'm here for? A wise decision. Thank you. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Damn. I'll come back another time if you're in a rush today. Oh, that's kind of cool. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Rebellion. 
Bruh. Oh, here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, there's a chest here? Didn't even see that. Oh, school uniform. It's not very cool. Is that a page I saw? I thought I saw a fly- oh, there is a flying page. Oh. Ah! Son of a gun. Give me that! Ooh, a chicken! Oh sh- Oh yeah, baby! My chicken now! <laughs> well, hello there. Shut your mouth. Give me that. I don't even know what I'm really here for. Please come in. Tim me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has As any video game character would say. Home. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neat. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Guess I'll just take this. Get me. Around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I wager. Fertilizer. I wonder if they sell pots here. Oh, I can sell stuff too. That's very nice. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. That a chest down there. I gotta get that. Am I gonna like fall down this fight like go in the water? One of these. I gotta figure out how to open these darn things. I don't know, dude. This is a mystery. Let's see where we gotta go. I don't remember. Where's the last place? I gotta go. What in the world? Whip. Common scrolls. Oh, it's right next to me, isn't it? Isn't it? Wait, no, it's not. What am I talking about? Bro, it's gotta be like right here. What? Oh, it was at the beginning. I just like avoided it. That's unfortunate. Run! Rebellion. Get up there. Community garden, okay, okay. Does that mean I can just grab whatever I want? I don't even think this stuff's growing yet. Looks like it's good though. Am I trapped? Get out of there! 
Revelio. I gotta focus. I'm gonna be. This is what I did in my like off time. I just went around the castle doing Revelio everywhere. I mean, what else? That's like. There's so much to explore. It's insane. Oh, whatever. We sell meat. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Sometimes it seems all roads. Revelio. An inquiring mind. Shut your mouth. Boy. I'm just gonna walk right past you. Just gonna explore your house. Without your permission, as you do. Oh hey. It's my house now, baby. It's a bobby pin box. What the heck? What the hell that is? Oh, I was like, "What's that?" What's... Oh, I can't even get that chest anyway. It's not even... Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, yeah. but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to What a to motivator. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spell crafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Oh, let's yeah. Let's look at what we have, shall we? We gonna be brewing. Nothing like finding just if you're interested. Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Huh. They have five small pots. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Yeah. Rebellion. What, does everybody have like a book to go to their upstairs or something? Oh wait, I'm so stupid. God, never mind. I didn't. I didn't say anything. Bro, I want to go to the broom shop. I know I'm not gonna be able to do anything when I get there. Where even is the broom shop? Up here, right? What? I'm gonna rock right into it, actually. Oh, it's this place. Oh, wait, this is the... Rebellion. I'm stupid. T 
There's a pull. Don't mind if I do. Butterbeer. Butterbeer. Rebellion. Damn, one hundred and twenty nine dollars in that chest? No way. What's over here? Nothing? Just just did up. A lot of stairs in this damn place. Oh yeah, there's a flying page out there. Whatever, let's just get this going. God dang. I gotta break in this guy's house and steal his treasure. Take your treasure, boy. Give me some free stuff. Before I talk to him, I'm gonna go do something real quick.
Okay. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, Lordy. Damn! <laughs> All these wizards are like, gotta get this thing out of here. Damn. Oh man. Damn, bro, smack me right in the face. What was that? I tasted his own medicine. God dang, bro. Oh, this is badass. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Dude, Sebastian got freaking yeeted, bro. Damn! Freaking beasted him up. Goodness. God's fifth year magic the right there. Troll. Let's Did get you it. Take on a fully grown troll by yourselves. I Damn straight. So. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. Officer. And thank you, again. The yeah, wizard please up in here? I gotta pet the cat before I start repairing stuff. I'm gonna beat you your want. ass. Let me know, sir. <laughs> Repair. What? There's more damage where? Sheesh! Okay, what else? What, the chairs? Bro, like a box got moved? Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Where'd he go? Give me that. 
Repair. Oh, I guess that whole building is kind of messed up. Hey, look, another cat. Let's go. This cat reminds me of Boo, my first cat. Look at that boy. What a good boy. Oh, it's... I'm out here like an architect, man. Trim it up. What in the world? Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. I was just in here stealing his treasure. Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting the trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Give me some garments, bro. Among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it Forge. were. Forged. Forged with power. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I ain't got a choice. Oh dang, you can get up to 16 on that? 16, 15, I think the one I have is 15. Er. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad. Bro, I know how to do it. I've been in here. I had to go in here, dude. Ugly. Let's see how much these even cost. 500? That's not terrible. Get you a good start up there. I don't even know. Oh, I have $700. Not much. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. Hey, let's get it. Room six is just this way. We definitely need a butter beer after that That's traumatizing cool. situation. You be? Shut your mouth. I don't care about your gear. Let's see. What's it got? I wonder if these expire if you leave them in your inventory for too long. Ooh, nice. There we go. Which was that 10? Okay, that sounds better than what I got right now. Not too bad. What did I get here? 7. Mine's only 6. It's got no trait, so it's like... It's not that... Wait, what is this one? Oh! Gotta change the appearance, though. I don't want to wear that... That dirtiness. We gotta keep it dark. I like these ones better than the dark arts gloves. They're just like, they got more detail, like the, the scales in them and stuff. Super cool. Oh, I forgot about that hat. I got that hat earlier, that flat one. <laughs> Hello. Let's go for some golf, shall we? There we go. What do we got here? Huh. 
Nice. That's really cool how you get rewarded for so many different things. I just hate these exclamation points staying up on my screen. That's the reason I'm doing this. Wait, I pass them? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Well, shoot, we gotta go back to our gear now and see what the hell that hat was. Oh, wait, it was an appearance, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to be rocking that. <laughs> Hell no. Wait, what am I... What am I doing? What'd I get? Was it that? I don't know, whatever. Thought I unlocked a new appearance. Was this? That's weird. Whatever. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your revenue. Go get some damn butter beer. I don't care about your garments. We're gonna get that Assuming beer. It isn't utter bedlam in there. You might even meet Serona. Bedlam the in there. She's a good one. Who says own. that? Damn it! I was gonna catch that owl out of air. Ominous. Bro, why are they so scared of that guy? What? You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. Ooh. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. <laughs> Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is... That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Let's go. Bro, I want my butter beer. What the hell? Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Granrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. What? Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. What is going on? It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. <laughs> Quite the entrance. <laughs> Do you might like throw hands at that oh, I... rockwood guy? Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh, okay. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well Bossed done. him up. Thanks for this. Single-handedly, I don't know about that one, though. <laughs> Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, time, man. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. 
Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't <laughs> do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My oh, ho, ho, we're throwing hands. And butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Hoo -hoo. It's like the Wild I'll West out you. here. My friend is busy. One would think you <laughs> Oh, damn. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Dude, we're throwing hands. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Harlow? You're Jack Harlow? Trolls? Dan Rock Jack. and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Dude, we're friends now. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. We're gonna get jumped if we leave this place. I didn't even get to drink my butter beer. What the hell? Can't drink butter beer forever. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. What? Am I just going to teleport there? I want to walk back in the dark, though. Oh. Oh, that's cool. You can switch between your maps and stuff. What's going on here? I wonder if you can fast travel like that all the time. Be kind of nice. Making that noise. Rebellion. Oh. Okay. Okay, Fig. My young friend. What? I can't believe that stuff, Headmaster. So I know a little bit more about this now. And there's like symbols on the wall. Rebellion. Wait, let me see. There's like doors you can unlock by flipping around these things on the wall. And it's like a, a puzzle of sorts. I think I figured out how to do it. There's one in here. This, these right here. So. What the heck? Alright, so it goes from one to nine. Or, how are. Wait, three. Ten. One to, one to ten. I'm assuming. So where's the spider at? The spider is a nine. So nine plus one, 
So the first question mark should be number three, which is that weird looking goat or whatever the heck that thing is. I'm not really sure what that is. Goat thing. So then, where's that little three-headed dude? Three-headed dude is four. So that means second question mark has to be number four, which is... Wait, what? Oh. Right? What? Okay, maybe it goes from zero. Zero to nine. So if it goes zero to nine, that would make the spider number eight. So we have to get number four, which would be that whatever the heck that thing is. I don't know. And then that would be three. So we need five, which would be the weird looking star thing. Right? Yeah, okay. So it's zero to nine, not one to ten. Which is definitely something good to know. There's a handful of these around the map. Because I unlocked one on my uh, time off screen. So I like figured that out from and I was talking to my sister that plays this game as well and she was telling me so. And these you have to do Leviosa on. So I gotta get to my guy. Wrong Wait, what the? Yeah, whatever. I'd be better off just teleporting there. Let's see what I got, though. A 12. Damn. Getting some good garments out here. I'm curious if, like, your inventory space can cap out and you have to, like, sell stuff. Because if that's the case, I got to do that pretty soon. A tower. Okay. I should be able to just teleport here if I have. Yeah, it's crazy because I still have so much more to explore around the castle. Why don't you go and see Nurse Lady? Yes. What in the world? Not a chance. Rebellion. I never noticed that before. What a good cat. Hello, were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Gimme dead. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. 
I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Interesting. Do you have a problem with me? That's what I thought. I just saw a page. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Wait, am I going the wrong way? What the heck? Is this room right here? Made any progress with your treasure map? Oh, that's right. I'm on the wrong mission since I picked that up. I just want to talk to Fig real quick. That's kind of like my priority. Oh, it's below me. <laughs> Sheesh. What are you up to now? Jeez, how long was I waiting for? God dang. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade, with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Sheesh. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. So good. Revelio. Okay. What in the world? Off on another adventure, are we? Stop asking so many questions, huh? About that.
Revelio. Lumos. Away from me. It was an accident. What? What's that even do? Am I supposed to like go in this location or something? I'm not sure I know where that's at. I mean, it looks like it's in this area. I just don't know where that image on the wall is at. school hates for no reason I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly that's kind of you I suppose there are a few decent souls here I wanted to make some new friends and so I brought my collection down to the common oh. room my gobstone collection that is I was hoping someone would want to play are you familiar with gobstones little balls like marbles grand game and if you lose they spray you with a foul smelling liquid Okay. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Wow, sounds like you're talking about me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of gibberish to me. Ah, 
I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. <laughs> Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Okay. Well, seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. In that case, I think I made some pretty good progress. I'm probably going to go and do those side quests that I had in my free time. Might try doing this too. I'll, I'll acquire Incendio and then start back up with the stream once I go back to Fig for the restricted section stuff. So, gonna cut the stream off here. We're looking pretty good. Feeling pretty good. So, yep. I will be on some other time. Thanks for watching.